Today we're going to be talking about the funny circle weapon of doom. The glaive prime everyone. I'll show you the only build I really use on it and it destroys all enemies up to level cap of any faction. If you like what primary or secondary dexterity says on the tin then the glaive prime will help you keep up those arcanes on any mission at any time and if you are going up against corpus take this exact same build but on the serata for guaranteed success. If you like this video and you want to see more please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. First of all, where do you get the Glaive Prime? You get it from relics or just purchase the parts from players for plat. And the Serata you can get very easily from a dojo's biolab. Now let me show you my build and I promise you this is the only build you need. It's important to understand that the Glaive Prime does forced slash procs on detonation. This means that when you throw a Glaive it has a guaranteed slash proc aka bleed proc. And we all know bleed deals true damage completely ignoring armor. Hence why slash is such a great status to have. It also has a forced impact proc but nobody cares about that. If you don't want to go for the Serato you can also versus Corpus use Prime Fever Strike or just Fever Strike if you don't have the Prime version. This adds Toxin to the weapon and Toxin bypasses shields and it's a great multiplier to add on for the Corpo boys but what I would really recommend is the Serato for Corpus. It also deals forced impact but it also deals forced Toxin and that makes very short work of the Corpus. The Serato is definitely the Glaive Prime of dealing with Corpus. So if you're up against Grenier this build is the go-to and I'll explain why in a sec. Against Infested it's exactly the same build. You just change the Bane. The reason why nothing really changes for Infested is because you don't need anything special for Infested since they are squishy so it doesn't matter. Now let me explain in detail why this build. First we have Killing Blow. This mod will greatly speed up the throwing animation of Glaives and increase the damage of their mid-air explosion but it will not affect the damage of the thrown weapon itself just the explosion so basically it will make the explosion deal more damage and the speed of the throw will increase a must-have mod next mod is power throw this mod is basically used as a damage multiplier this damage bonus is multiplicative to pressure point or in this case sacrificial pressure meaning it's like having a mini eclipse for up to 300% multiplicative damage all in one mod another must-have for maximum damage next up we have corrupt charge this mod gives us initial combo meaning our combo will start at two times and stay there. Combo multipliers do exactly that, multiplies our damage, in this case by two times, permanently. This is a straight up DPS increase and makes the glaive very consistently strong, no need to build up combo. Next mod is volatile quick return. This mod increases the blast radius of the detonation and takes away bounces allowing you to just throw the glaive, deal damage and immediately throw it again. Another consistency mod for big booms. The next mod is amalgam organ shot or just organ chatter if you're like me and you haven't done the effort of grinding endo to upgrade amalgam organ chatter but amalgam organ chatter is the best in slot here organ chatter is fine though if you don't have amalgam organ chatter fully ranked up yet now this mod is simple it increases critical damage and the amalgam version speeds up the animation of glaives when performing a thrown attack similar to killing blow so amalgam organ chatter best in slot but if you still have organ chatter take your time it's fine it does the job it kills level 9 9k no problems. Next we have the sacrificial mods. Sacrificial steel gives us critical chance and this bonus is doubled for heavy attacks and when paired up with sacrificial pressure it gives us at max rank 550% critical chance on our glaive throw. Also if you have both sacrificial mods you get a 41% extra damage to sentience which functions exactly like a faction mod to sentience. This is not that important but it's a cool to have. Then we have our faction damage mod. These mods are multi multipliers not additive to damage mods so they are in fact much stronger than you may think and for slash procs they double dip for an additional 140% and generally 1.55 times higher damage to the faction and that's about it for the build now like I said you can definitely put a toxin mod in here you can replace the faction mod with fever strike if faction damage or level cap is not your thing absolutely no problems there but when dealing with the corpus I would rather use the exact same build on the Serata 
and just use that. Because the Serata is made for killing corpus, let's be honest. With those two glaives each equipped with this exact same build, there's not a faction in the game that can stand against your might. And that's about it. Stay safe out there and see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.